Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create some animated circular infographic charts in DaVinci Resolve, such as a countdown timer, a pie chart with animated shapes and numbers, donut charts with numbers, callouts and a legend. Okay, let's start with a pie chart first. Drag an essential background clip to the timeline. Change the color. Apply the mask effect. Go to the effects tab in the inspector. Change the mask type to ellipse. You can also use the solid color generator, but it doesn't allow the effect to be applied directly. So I made one of my own using Fusion Background node. Enable the Fusion overlay in the viewer. Resize the mask. Apply the radial wipe effect. Go to the Effects tab and set the wipe angle to 360. Enable the animation by setting the time to 30 frames, which is 1 second in this case. Set the border width to 0.002. We now have a pie with a wiping in animation. Hold the Option or Alt key and drag the clip to create a duplicate on the track above. Go to the Video tab and change the background to a different color. Switch the Effects tab. Open the Radial Wipe effect. Change the wipe angle to 240, this will reset the visible section of the first blue pie to 120 degrees. Repeat the steps to duplicate the clip. Change the color to pink, so it's different from others. Go to the effects tab, change the radial wipe angle to 140, so the previous pie is 100 degrees. Duplicate another copy at the top. Change the color. And set the wipe angle to 60. We now have an animated pie with four slices of different sizes. To add a dynamic changing number on top of the slice, add a text plus title to the top. Right click the text field. Choose Expression to enable the simple expression input. So we set the expression to time divided by 30 and multiply by 17. Where time is the current frame number, 30 is the animation duration we set for the wiping effect. This expression will change the value from 0 to 17 as the timeline plays back. But the display shows too many digits after the decimal point. And also after 30 frames, the number keeps changing. To address the display, we add the string format function to the expression. Since it's showing a percentage, we also include the percent sign at the end. To stop the number from changing, change the value to a condition check. If the time is greater than 30, always return 17. Change the font size and move the number to the center of the first slice. Great, the percentage is now shown correctly on the first slice. But it's always visible and causes distraction during the animation time when the slice is not fully revealed yet. We need to mask the text display so it shows only for the green slice. Move the text clip up. Duplicate the first pie slice clip. Switch to the settings inside the video tap. Change the composite mode to alpha. So this clip will be used as a mask. Select the text clip, go to the settings tab. Change the composite mode to foreground. Nice, the text is now only visible for the green slice. Make a copy of the text clip. We will use it to create number displays for other slices. We now complete the first slice and the display. We can convert them to a compound clip and organize the timeline. Select all three clips, right click and choose new compound clip. 
Enter a name for the clip, for example, slice 1. Paste the text copy to the timeline and move to the track above the second slice. In the viewer, reposition the title to the center of the second pink slice. Go to the inspector, change 17 in the expression to 22, which is the percentage for this one. Similarly, duplicate the slice and change the mode to alpha, so that the number is limited to the visible part of the pink slice. Also convert it to a compound clip, we can call it slice 2. Repeat the same steps for the third and fourth one. Once the caching is complete, play the timeline. And now we have made a smooth animated pie chart. If we want to put it on top of a background clip and add a shadow, we can group them into another compound clip. Copy the four color gradient background and move it underneath. Apply a drop shadow effect to the pie chart. We can now resize or reposition the chart on the screen. To create a donut type chart, we will take the result from the previous pie chart. Reset the transformation. Apply a mask effect to the compound clip. In the effects tab, change the type to ellipse. Check the invert option. Go to the viewer, change the mask size so that the middle of the pie is cut out. And now it turned into a donut chart. If we want to also have the inner border, simply enable the outline of the mask effect. Change the outline width if needed. If we don't want to have any border or outlines, we can open each of the slice compound clips in the timeline and turn off the border option in the radial wipe effect. If you want, you can also disable the outline option for the mask effect. Adding an animated callout title is very simple with the help of the essential arrow line effect. You can check this video up here for more details. Add an arrow line to the timeline. Change it to a callout line. Add an essential title. Change the size and the position. Enable the intro animation. That's it. The donut chart is now animated and followed by a callout display. At last, we will create a countdown timer, as we saw at the beginning of the video. Add a background clip to the timeline. Change the color. Apply the mask effect. Change the type to ellipse. Uncheck the solid option. Increase the border width. Resize the mask. This looks good. Apply the radial wipe effect. Change the wipe angle to 360. Set the animation time to 150 frames, which is 5 seconds. Now we have a loading circular bar. Next we will add a count number in the center of the circle. Add a text plus title clip to the timeline. Right-click the text field and enable the simple expression. Set the expression to return the number in seconds. Good, we now have a count-up timer. If we don't need the border, we can disable the border option in the radial wipe effect. Select both the circle and the text clip, create a new compound clip. Go to the inspector, in the speed change section, reverse the direction. Now this becomes a countdown timer. We can add a background and shadow, as we did earlier. Alright, that's all for today. If you need to download the effects used in this video, 
You can find the download links in the videos listed in the description below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.